Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel on Feynman integration. Uh, today we're going to be evaluating this integral right here from 0 to infinity e to the negative 2x minus e to the negative 5x over x dx. Pause the video, try it yourself. Um, try to use uh, traditional techniques if you'd like, but you won't be successful. Um, so what we're going to do immediately is uh, go ahead and make a function of t that's equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative tx minus e to the negative 5x. I hope you can see why I did that. Uh, this t is basically just replacing that 2. Um, make a few notes here that if you evaluate our function of t at 5, you're going to get 0 because you'll have e to the negative 5x minus e to the negative 5x, which is 0, over x, which is still 0. Integrating from 0 to infinity is still 0. Second thing we want to note is that if we evaluate f at 2, we're going to get our answer. f of 2 equals i. Okay, next step. What we want to do is we want to use the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign which I have written right there. It states that the derivative with respect to t of, or from a to b of some function of x and t integrated with respect to x is equal to the integral from a to b of the partial derivative with respect to t of that same function integrated with respect to x. Um, so if we apply that rule to f of t, we'll have that f prime of t is equal to 0, the integral from 0 to infinity, of negative e to the negative tx. I hope you can see where that comes from. Basically, with a partial derivative with respect to t, if we're taking the partial with respect to t, x is a constant. So uh, we break this integral up uh, using linearity, and uh, this whole part right here will drop out. I hope you can see why, because there's no t's in it. It's all constants. And if you integrate uh, with respect to t, integrate with respect to anything of, uh, and you integrate a constant, you're going to get zero. So this whole part drops out, leaving you with nothing but uh, having to differentiate with respect to t, e to the negative tx over x. And that's what you get if you do so. So again, we have that f prime of t is equal to zero integral from zero to infinity of negative e to the negative tx dx, which if you evaluate it, you will get negative 1 over t for an answer. Again, we're not interested in what f prime of t is. Um, we're interested in what f of t is. So, again, all we got to do is integrate f prime of t to get f of t. When you do that, you get negative natural log of t plus a constant of integration. Very important constant of integration right there. Moving on, if... Uh, if we plug, um, if we use these initial values that we that we um, that we stated earlier, um, we'll get that zero is equal to negative natural log five plus c. Um, we get that because we have that zero is equal to f evaluated at the point five. So right here, f of t is zero when you evaluated at five. So negative natural log of five plus c is equal to 0, uh, giving us a value of natural log 5 for c right there. So now we can completely uh, figure out what f of t is based on our constant of integration. It's going to be um, natural log 5 minus natural log t. I hope you can see where that comes from. And then using properties of logarithms, we have that f of t is equal to the natural log of 5 over t. Oops. Now, using the fact that f of 2 is equal to uh, what we want, all we do is plug in 2 right there, and we have that our final answer is natural log 5 over 2. Hope you